Today I will show you how to create frost on your images. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another really fun episode. Today I will teach you how to create frost on basically any object in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's the fun begin. Alright guys, today we will use this image and we will make a frost on both hands here of the model. And uh, for a start you need to make selection of both hands one by one and make a copy of that. So to save a time for this tutorial I already did it. So I already make a copy of this and this hand. And to do that you just use the quick selection tool and basically quickly select one uh, hand, press Control command J to make a copy of that and the same procedure select the other one, press Control or command J to make a copy of that. So when you have a both hand uh, duplicated I like to select both of them and make another copy just press Control command J so you will see later why I will need them. Alright, and for a start I will go uh, to, let me see, to right hand for example, this is right hand, and I need to desaturate that right hand, the copy of right hand. To desaturate uh, something in Photoshop I will use the shortcut, it's shift Control u or shift Command u on a Mac. Or you can go right here to image, adjustment and, adjustment, sorry here it is, and desaturate, alright. But I like to use shortcuts, so I will use Shift-Ctrl-U or Shift-Command-U, so I now have black and white version of this hand. The next step is to go to Filter, then Filter Gallery and choose Artistic and Plastic Wrap, right? I will just unzoom it a little bit. And you can see this is already looking like some kind of eyes. So you need some, uh, you have some uh, sliders here and basically I like to set both of those uh, highlight strength and details all the way to uh, maximum and this smoothness will control the amount of detail on that eyes. Maybe you want this kind of eyes, maybe you want some smoother eyes like this, depends of your taste. I will use 10 in this case and I will press OK. And we have this crazy looking hand right now. Right, the next step is to invert that. So to invert that I will press Ctrl or Command I. So press Control command i now I have inverted version of that and I will put this in the screen blending mode to get rid of those black colors. So in the screen blending mode I will have something really, really strange here but it will do the job. Next step is to go and create hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip it to affect only right hand and click this colorize option because I want to colorize this uh, ice effect right and I want some kind of blue color something like this maybe and I will choose the saturation something like around 46 or so. Alright but we have a problem I don't want uh, the arm or hand below this uh, layer to be visible so to uh, fix that I will just create a group I will go to right hand layer press ctrl or command G to create a group open this group and just move this hue and saturation adjustment layer out of the group and then clip it to the group. To clip it just press press Alt or Option key and click with the mouse between those two layers. And now we have what we need. Right? This is before, this is after. And next step is to go and duplicate this right hand layer inside the group by pressing Ctrl Command J and the effect will be um, uh, stronger and I want to go to filter again, filter gallery and now I will choose distort and glass alright and with the glass I can choose a frosted alright because I want frosted texture and I can scale this texture, I can play with it, I can play with distortion depends on the amount of frost I want to have, I can play with the smooth smoothness here and I like something like this let me see maybe, maybe like this and I will press OK. And if I zoom here you can see that now this is really looking like some kind of uh, frosted arm, something like this. And this is really nice. I didn't uh, make quite good selection right here but for you home, for homework, try to make really really good selection. But for this tutorial this is perfect. 
Right now, I will rename this group to right hand, right? Uh, this is right, yeah. And I will put a mask on it. And I will use a brush, really soft one, 0% hardness and black color. So I will just remove the effect from this part and I will change the opacity to 20% and I will just paint something like this because I want to have impression that this ice effect it's all just started to uh, to happening happening on on this uh, hand it will probably uh, cover the whole arm a little bit later but this is just the start so I will make that impression like so all right and just paint back some parts and now we need to do the same exactly the same effect on the other hand so let's go to the left hand actually let's call up this and i will go here to the left hand and make it black and white with uh, control command uh, shift uh, control u or shift uh, command u all right and now let's go to filter filter gallery and artistic plastic wrap and I will change maybe from 10 to 11 to be a little bit more smooth. And now I need to invert it. Control command I to invert it and then put in screen blending mode. See, it's really, really nice effect. But I will put this in a group by pressing control command G and I will use hue and saturation adjustment layer, move it out of the group and clip it to affect only this group. So I will press colorize and go right here and colorize it like so and it was 46 yeah and like so we need to make a copy of this by pressing ctrl command j all right and then go to filter filter gallery and go to distort and use the glass so i will use exactly the same settings that i used before and this is really really nice so now i will just rename this group to a left hand right and i will put a mask on it i will use black brush soft brush with 100 percent opacity and i will first remove the effect from this part right here then i will use 20 percent opacity and just remove a little bit more from some parts here just to have that impression that this effect starts to build up okay this is really nice and now let me see, let's zoom it. Yeah, this is really nice. Now we can collapse this, both of those uh, groups, and we can add something uh, more if we want. We can add maybe another layer. For example, let's concentrate on the right arm. Let's add another layer just below the hue and saturation adjustment layer, right? And we can use a white brush, really, really soft and maybe 10% opacity, and we can paint with the white to make this a little bit more brighter if we want to do that you don't need to do that if you don't like it but here i like it so i can do that here same but i will not do it because i like just inside part of this okay all right guys the next step is to add a little bit of outer glow and inner glow to this eyes and we are done with the eyes so let's do it right let's use first the right hand double click on this right hand uh, group all right to go and open this layer style dialog box and go to outer glow option choose choose your color i will just choose this color here okay and the size of the glow i will go all the way to the maximum and you can choose overlay or you can choose soft light or screen screen it's too pronounced then you need to uh, lower the opacity but it's not bad at all Maybe screen or overlay. Let me see the overlay is less pronounced. So I will use screen. Use screen and go something like this. And I will use the inner glow too. All right. Inner glow to make the glow inside. But you can choose between the center and the edge. Edge, it's, uh, the glow is around the edge of uh, the arm, as you can see. And let me show you the size, like so, around the edge. But the center is inside the center and from the center out so i like to use the center and let me see something like 
like this, this is really cool. So I'll press OK and I will just duplicate those effects to uh, the left hand. So, so to duplicate it, just press and hold Alt or Option key and just drag those effects to the other group, all right? And this is really nice. If it's too much here, we can always go double click on any of those effects and change them. Maybe outer glow, let me see. Maybe it's too much, maybe we can lower the opacity or no. And let me see the inner glow. If we lower the opacity, something like this. It is really, really nice. All right, guys, that's basically it with the eyes. We are finished with it. So now I will add some debris in between those two hands to make this image a little bit more dynamic and then color correct it. So let's do it. All right, guys, if you're not familiar how to add debris to your photos, please watch my tutorial about debris right here and then you can create any kind of debris that you want. I will not create it from the start. I already have debris layer here and I just made a custom brush and paint that debris all over the image. And now I will make it smaller with Control Command T like so. Let me see. I will rotate it to put it just in between, in between those two hands, something like this, maybe even smaller, I don't know. This is not bad. And I will press OK. Right, guys, now I will show you why I made a copy of left and right hand layer at the beginning. Actually, I didn't need to make it, but I made it just uh, to have it uh, uh, here that I can reach it really, really fast. So here is the copy of left and right hand. And in this case, I will need the left hand to load as a selection. To load the uh, layer as a selection, just press Control or Command key and just click on the layer like so. And now I will load this as a mask here on a debris layer to cover uh, those debris, to get rid of those debris on this side of the hand. So to load this as a mask, I will just press the mask button here and I need to invert mask because now it's opposite what I need. To invert the mask, just press Control or Command I and that's it. Now I have this really, really nice debris between those two hands. This is before, this is after, before and after. Okay, the next step is to merge everything together with Shift Control Alt E or Shift Command Option E on a Mac, like this. And now I will go and color correct this a little bit. I will go to Filter and let's use a Camera Row filter. You know that I love it, so I will use this. Okay, I will lower the exposure a little bit and open the shadows, add a little bit of clarity move those sliders let me see let's go to the haze and the haze a little bit and add a lot of vignette and feather it this is guys completely optional thing you can you can do anything that you want here so i will maybe sharp it just a little bit okay something like so and i will go to this uh, split toning effect and i will just color the shadows into a bluish tint. Let me see something like something like this is not bad. And maybe overall like this. Okay. And if I'm satisfied with that, let's open shadows a little bit more. If I'm satisfied with that, I will press OK. And this is before and after, before and after. It is not bad at all. I will add one more thing. I will copy this, duplicate this layer with Control Command J, and then I will go again to Filter and Camera Row Filter, and I will just make some blue tint here, like this, a little bit green to have that turquoise look, all right? And I will put a mask, black mask on this to put a black mask on a layer, just press and hold Alt or Option key and click here on a mask button. And now I will go and with the white brush and maybe 20 or 30% opacity, just paint uh, around here to have that blue color effect on the clothing here. Okay. And I want to remove that effect from my arms. I don't want my arms to be so bluish just on the body here. Okay, and to do that, I will need uh, both of those layers to load it as a mask. Press and hold Control or Command key, click on one, then hold Control and Shift or Command and Shift and load the second two. And then I will go to the mask, use a black brush and just paint with 100% opacity and black brush to remove that effect from this selection. And this is really, really nice. 
And this is basically it. We can now go merge everything together, go to filter, nick, color correction, and then color correct it or actually add some details in the Nick Color FX Pro. And this is optional too. You can always go and play with this as ever you want. Maybe add a little bit of pro contrast to boost this dynamic contrast and press OK. And you will see in a few seconds a little bit uh, addition to this color correction. Wait a second. And here it is. This is before and after Nick Color FX Pro. We can always go put a mask on it and maybe remove this effect from the edges because I want those edges to be a little bit darker. If we want, you can make a little bit more of a cinematic look so you can create a new layer, use this rectangular marquee tool, right? And just create those uh, selection like this and press and hold shift to create another one like so and then fill it with a black color. If the black is foreground color, you need to hold press and hold control command key with the backspace and just fill it. And now we have this as some movie scene. I don't know. You can really play with color correction and things like that to have really, really nice effect. All right, guys, that's basically it. You can use this exactly the same technique to create a frost on any object that you want. I will show you really, really quickly how you can create a frost on a car, maybe. And we will finish with this tutorial. So I have another image of a car here. The car it's on a separate layer and you know the procedure. Duplicate the layer. I will be really fast now. Uh, press Ctrl uh, Shift U to do desaturate it and then go to filter, filter gallery and go to artistic plastic wrap and play with these options. Maybe I want to have it like so. Press OK and then invert it put it in a screen blending mode, that's nice. And then I will go create a group, create this uh, hue and saturation adjustment layer. I need to get out of the group and clip it to the group, colorize it, find the color that you want, something like this maybe, and then duplicate this one more time, go to filter, filter gallery, and go to distort, glass, and press OK. And this is really, really nice. We can put a mask on the group and we can invert the mask and then we can paint with a wide brush and 100% opacity uh, this effect anywhere that we want. Maybe I want this effect only here and around this, right? And you can be really creative. Maybe I want all glass to be covered by this frost. And this is really nice. Maybe the license plate or those lights and so on and so on or you can even frost the whole car depends on the situation you want uh, to, to achieve here in Photoshop. And that's it guys. This is before and after, before and after. With this technique you can basically add a frost to any object in Photoshop. I really hope guys that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it. If you have any questions at all regarding to this episode please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. Have fun, experiment, practice and create your uh, frost objects in Photoshop. If you want to support me and this channel to make it even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. See you guys in the next fun episode. Bye bye.